All right, this video explains the conditional statements project and it was actually inspired from a children's book um, entitled If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. Now some of you may be familiar with this book, um, some of you may not be familiar with this book. So I want you to sit back and I'm going to read some of the story to you and then explain how it's going to relate to the project that we're doing for chapter two. So, um, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie is written by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Felicia Bond. Okay, if you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, he'll probably ask for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then he'll want to look in the mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim, so he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep it up. He'll start sweeping. Okay. Um, that's it for this version. I think the actual book goes on longer, uh, but you get the idea. Um, you know, even though these statements aren't written as true conditional statements, you can tell there's a linking between them and it's almost a cause and effect relationship of if this happens, then this happens. If this happens, then this happens. Okay? And that'll lead us into um, the project of a conditional statement book. Okay? The project is that you're creating a children's story with pictures using conditional statements. Okay? If this happens, then this happens. If that happens, then this happens. And, and so forth. Okay? Um, It'll be graded using a rubric that will be on the next slide. It's also on the, the conditional statement project paper. Um, you must use at least 12 conditional statements. More will be extra credit. Um, and there must there'll be a first page and a last page. Okay? On every page, there must be a conditional statement. Okay? If it were me writing it, I'd be simple and just write them in an if-then form. Now even though the book, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, isn't in that if-then form, then um, your book probably should be in an if-then conditional statement form. Okay? Every page must have an illustration on it, and that illustration must be colored. And you can't use notebook paper for the pages. Okay? I want you to use white um, computer paper. Um, and the overall appearance must be appealing to the reader. Okay, the, the rubric is, half the credit is based on um, the 12 conditional statements that you write. They must be conditional statements, um, up to 15 for extra credit. Okay, uh, the story must be well organized. Uh, one idea follows after another in a logical and easy to follow manner. Okay, um, if you give a mouse a cookie, that story is a really good example. It follows a really logical, easy to follow path. Okay. Um, the pictures are 20 points out of 100. The title page is 100. Is, sorry, is five points, and the whole project is out of 100 points. Now, this is the required project for Chapter Two. Uh, we encourage you to be creative with this um, to make a fun story. Um, it should be, you know, children's story related um, things. But um, just kind of be, be creative with it, have some fun with it, and I hope you enjoy this project.